During World War II, the United States needed to train thousands of bomber crews in the complexities of aerial gunnery. Along with traditional methods, one was secret until being revealed in a popular science article in 1943. Long before video games and virtual simulators, the Waller Gunnery Simulator was a complex system designed by Fred Waller and the Vitarama Corporation. It was composed of five synced film projectors covering a spherical projection surface. Four stations for gunner trainees, four film optical registers monitored hits and misses as they tried to shoot down enemy aircraft moving across the screen. A referee above with a console marked down hits and misses as the simulation was played out. The purpose of the simulations was to practice aerial deflection as attacking enemy aircraft would strafe the bomber from different directions. Based on the type of aircraft, the wingspan and speed, using the Mark 9 gun sight, gunners would estimate the lead required for their bullets to hit the target. The optical registers film were pre-calibrated to the master film, so when the gun was aimed and fired in the right position, the slits in the film let light through, electrically triggering a light and counter on the referee's console. The gunner's stations replicated the 50 caliber machine guns with motor-activated recoil. Bullets fired were recorded and hits created a high-pitched tone in the gunner's headset. The referee recorded hits to shots fired for a final tally. The U.S. and Britain bought and installed 75 trainers, with many of the gunner trainees enjoying fighting at the movies and the realism it brought to their training. Post-war, Fred Waller's designs led to the creation of the Cinerama format in theaters and was credited with a Scientific Technical Academy Award and many other patents for his work.